Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Yuki. This is the Yuki J10 wireless video doorbell with Chime. It has 1080p HD resolution, uh, two-way audio communication, motion detection, and it has a built-in battery that can last up to 90 days between charges. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything you get once you get it out of the box. You're going to get some uh, warranty card information and a user manual for the J10 as well. Again, this uh, sports 1080p resolution. Uh, you've got some QR codes here for support. If you do need support for anything, uh, you can check it out right there on the first page. This is going to show you all of your button layouts, how everything's laid out on the video doorbell uh, so that you can uh, reference that if you need to. Also the chime as well. And you do get a QR code here for the app download. It's going to be the Cloud Edge app. And you can download the Cloud Edge app for either iOS or for Android, so it will work under each one. Hold on to that just in case you need it. Now we do get some mounting hardware here uh, in case you need it. Uh, you can mount this and drill this straight into a wall or wherever you're going to be mounting this near your front door or back door or wherever you're going to be placing this. Now they also give you double-sided 3M tape to use as a mount. So if you live in an apartment or something like that, you can uh, do this without having to drill any holes, which is very nice uh, if you do not own the home that you are currently living in. In. That's great for people who maybe live in an apartment or something like that, uh, so that is perfect. Now we do have the chime here as well. There are three buttons on the side of this. It does run on batteries, uh, three AAA batteries that are included, uh, and this will sync up with the device. Uh, so that whenever you get someone at your front door, the doorbell ring will uh, ring on the chime as well. So you can have it like upstairs in your bedroom area or in, uh, you know, an, on another floor and it'll work just perfectly. Now they do give you a cable here for recharging the device. This will get up to 90 days of battery life per charge. Uh, it's a standard USB type A uh, to USB type C cable uh, for recharging the device. Uh, and you can plug the USB uh, plug into any laptop or PC's USB, or you can use something like this, which is an AC to USB adapter that you probably already have from a phone or a tablet. Now they do give you this Torx uh, screwdriver here, and this is for adjusting the base. The base can be adjusted to angles uh, by unscrewing this. We can adjust the base uh, so that the uh, camera is angled from either 0 degrees, which is straightforward, uh, 22.5 degrees, all the way up to 45 degrees, or negative 22.5 or negative 45. So you've got that range uh, if you need to angle it in a certain way to get the correct uh, viewing angle on this. So that's pretty interesting as well uh, and uh, pretty nice to have uh, just in case your specific mounting situation uh, calls for an angled setup. Okay, so let's take a look at the main device. On the front is your uh, doorbell ringer button here. It does have an LED ring around it. Uh, and you do have your PIR motion sensor here and of course your 1080p lens. Uh, on the side, we're gonna see that we've got a couple different uh, compartments here. Uh, if you peel back the first one at the top is gonna be your charge port, which is that USB type C and a reset button for resetting all the settings on the camera if you need to do that. On this flap, you're gonna see a spot for a micro SD card. Uh, it'll take up to 128 gigabytes for local storage. Uh, cloud storage is also offered through the app, uh, but you can use this for local storage as well. Now you're gonna have a microphone and a uh, speaker on this for two-way communication. So as far as installation goes, it's super simple with that 3M tape if you don't want to drill into anything or are unable to because you don't own the place that you live in. Uh, I can also angle this, of course, to get the best view possible with the mount. 
Okay, so here you can see that it is uh, mounted outside and I'm getting a, a nice picture with this. A uh, nice, crisp, clear 1080p picture. Uh, it, of course, is upscaled to 4K in this instance. Uh, but you can see no problems whatsoever with the video quality on this video doorbell. Uh, you've got your timestamp at the top there. Uh, and, of course, you can record this with full audio as well if you need to. Well, setting up the camera is super simple with the Cloud Edge app. You can get this for Android or for iOS, depending on your device. Uh, and all you'll need to do is log in, uh, create an account, and log in to the Cloud Edge app. You can see that there's a plus button there to add a device. Uh, and you ha can see that it supports many devices, but we're going to do Smart Doorbell and Smart Doorbell a Set Wi-Fi and it's going to tell you to power on the device. So you just have to hold down the uh, ring or power button here till you see the LED come up. And as it boots up, that LED ring around this will start to blink, uh, and then we can hit Next. Then it's going to ask you to reset the device, which is super simple to do. All you have to do is open the flap at the top where your charge port is going to be and hold down uh, the uh, reset button for a few seconds until you hear a tone. Uh, and then once you do that, uh, it will reset on its own. So super simple to do the reset. No problems whatsoever. Now once it resets, we're going to hit next again. I'm just waiting for it to start blinking, and it is. So there we go. Now it's going to ask us for our 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password here. And this is where you'll have to put in your name and password of your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Mine are already in there, so I'm going to click OK. And it's going to now ask us to tap the connect button. And what that's doing is it's going to have its own Wi-Fi, the camera itself, the video doorbell, uh, and we're going to connect directly to it with our phone. So you're going to see it's going to come up STRN with a bunch of numbers here. I'm going to connect to this, and this is going to connect my phone directly to the video doorbell so that we can upload our uh, Wi-Fi uh, name and password to the device itself. So I'm going to say connect only this time, and then we're going to return to the app. So now that we're connected to the doorbell directly, let's just return to the app here. And what will happen is we, it will check the connection and it will upload that information to the video doorbell itself so that it can reside on your Wi-Fi network. Now you can see here that it will take just a few moments for it to connect. Uh, the LED did turn blue there and a solid color, meaning we are connected. So now it is uploading that information and registering the device and you should be good to go. Now what's going to happen here is when you click Next, uh, you're going to see that the ad was successful and they give you a little installation guide uh, telling you to uh, install it at the prop proper place and height. Uh, so we're going to do that. It's going to say put the camera on the phone uh, in the place of installation and it's going to check your Wi-Fi signal and everything else to make sure that everything is working. And as you can see, there I am behind the camera. Uh, so everything is working and you are now set up and ready to go. At this point, you can uh, choose a family and of course rename the camera from the number to whatever you would like to and it now appears in the app. Setting up the chime is super simple as well. You're going to see that there are three buttons on the side. You're going to want to hold the settings uh, slash power button uh, down. And what that's going to do is put it in pairing mode when it's blinking red like that. Uh, and then you're just going to want to push the button on the doorbell itself. It'll send a signal and it will automatically be paired. And there you go. You can see everything comes up as a incoming video call on my phone. Uh, motion detection uh, will also work here. We'll get into that in just a few moments just so that you can see uh, what that's like as well as I hit the button. I've got a visitor a notification here uh, and it comes up on the screen. I can either message them or I can uh, hang up or accept the video call as well.
So going in, we can check out the app here and some of the things uh, that you'll see on the app. Uh, you can adjust uh, th uh, this from SD to HD. Uh, you do have live history and cloud. So if you're going to be using cloud uh, features, you can do that. We have a full featured intercom here for two-way communication. I can take a screenshot of what I see and it will save it to my album. Uh, so I do have that as well. And uh, again, uh, you can adjust other things like your intercom sound can be adjusted. Uh, they do have some voice masking uh, type things as well, uh, such as like a deeper voice uh, and a, uh, you know, something they call clown, which is kind of a, uh, you know, a higher pitched voice as well. So you get like a male and a female voice uh, type uh, voice changer on this as well. Uh, of course, we can also record video. We can adjust the motion detection, and we can turn the siren on as well to scare off anybody that might be uh, at our door that we don't want to be there. Now, of course, turning on motion detection, we have detection sensitivity, uh, and we have correction for that as well. And then you have custom modes, power saving modes uh, to uh, save battery when motion detection is on. Uh, so, once this is back up and running and we have the motion detection on, uh, you'll see that uh, anytime I move in front of the camera, I should get a push notification that shows me that it did detect motion. Now, it does take a few moments, but there it is. Uh, I re received an alarm for that detection. Now the app has tons of different settings in it for receiving your uh, alert notifications, alarm management for the motion detection, which we already uh, kind of touched on, uh, image settings here, uh, device sharing, uh, of course, a uh, night vision mode is either automatic, night mode on for black and white and only in color, but if you do only in color, you're gonna need an outside light source. Uh, installation guide, time settings, sound settings, your wireless ch chime, which you can change the actual uh, ringtone on that from four presets as well. Uh, so you have a lot of different things here. Battery management, uh, link with uh, Amazon Alexa or Google Home, check for a new version, and of course you can reset or delete the device here as well. Last thing I want to test is night mode. So we're going to turn on all the lights here. Now it does take a, a just a second for the camera to flip over, uh, but you can see once it does, the IR LEDs do a good job at illuminating my subject at night. So I'm not going to have any problems with night mode here, uh, and it is available on this as well. So there you go, that's my review of the Yuki J10 battery-powered wireless doorbell camera and chime. Uh, this is a great setup even if you do not own your home uh, because they give you a nice installation kit uh, that will allow you to mount this anywhere. I like the features of 1080p video, it looks great two-way communication, integration with Amazon Alexa and Google Home, uh, and a, a long battery life uh, up to three months between charges. Overall, this is a solid video doorbell, and if you're looking for one, you might want to check this one out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.